Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, Zaro, and for tonight's video, we're gonna talk about the things that we are uncomfortable to talk about. So if you guys want to know more about this video, then please keep on watching. He said, Hey there, bonita. I've been waiting for a chance to say the ways I love you. So can I get underneath ya? Or are you kinda crazy? So I say fuck me, then feed me, and I'll be your diamond. So before we get started, I would just like to thank each and every one of you for all the support and love you've given for my past videos, for my Facebook post, and uh, for reaching 500 subscribers. I can't believe it. Thank you so much. And of course, I'm more inspired to do more sex ed content. Nakakataba na puso na yung mga comments nyo rin is very encouraging and uplifting. And of course, I will try my best to be comprehensive with them as much as possible. Again, saarangheyo. I love you guys. For tonight's video, because it's night time, I feel like I want to have a girl talk. Let's talk about insecurities, let's talk about our sexuality and self-exploration. And for today's video, it is actually in collaboration with Frisky. So Frisky sent me their products and one of them is this baby. I can't believe that I'm saying it. It's a collaboration. It means a lot to me because this is my first collaboration. So Frisky is celebrating their first year anniversary. You guys might want to check them out because they have a lot of stuff and they are on sale. Just go Lord. Hindi ko alam kung paano kayo bubudulin dito pero baka mamaya pag-usapan natin to. For the meantime, I hope you guys check out their Instagram and I'll leave their link down below. And I swear you will guys love it. So with that, let's start with this video. Tonight, we're gonna talk about the things that we are uncomfortable to talk about, that it be our insecurities, our sexualities, and of course, about female masturbation. So, it's intriguing to mga topics natin for tonight because our hashtag for tonight will be end the stigma. So, first and foremost, of course, I also have insecurities. We all have insecurities, but I am grateful. I love myself for overcoming them. I love myself for not really getting my insecurities into me. For tonight, I'm gonna lay them one by one. Ko ano ba yung insecurities ko and how I overcame them or how I overcome them through time. First and foremost, itong camera nito para talaga ang ganda ang josa ko. Pero izum natin tong mga pores natin. Opo. As you can see, I have a lot of pimple marks. And I even have pimple on my forehead. I have a lot of pimple, pimple marks. And for me, acne is totally normal. Like, it's part of our life. And nakakainis lang kasi para masyado tayong nakukumaling sa clear skin. And media plays a big part on this kasi para people expect na lahat ng babae magaganda yung kutis, magaganda yung balat. When in fact, we are in a tropical country. So hindi mo maiwasan talaga na may mga taong maraming pimple, maraming acne marks, malalaki yung pores. Nakakainis pa dito, people really point out your insecurities na parang hello, alam ko sa sarili ko na may insecurities ako and alam ko na insecure sa kanila bakit kailangan nyo pa sila i-point out sana wag na natin i-point out yung insecurities ng ibang tao kasi let's face it they know already, you don't have to point them out, kunyari malapad yung moo mo pangu yung ilong mo, ipis ng labi mo, hindi naman ganun kaganda yung ngipin mo, ang lapad-lapad ng mukha mo, so the more you drag them down the more na bababa at bababa yung self-esteem and self-confidence ng isang tao, the next is let's end the stigma on pointing out weight gain or weight loss among women. Your body should be perfect. Dapat hugis Kylie Jenner ka. Sobrang liit ng waist. Malaking joga. Malaking balakang. Mahabang legs. And so on and so forth. Lahat tayo affected by this. And nakaka lungkot lang kasi parang parang wala lang sa mga tao na husgahan ka. Wala lang sa mga tao na mag-comment sila sa body mo. I know a lot of people gained weight in this pandemic. And it's so totally okay. Girl, okay lang na tumaba. Hello, nasa pandemic na nga tayo. Siyempre, lahat tayo stress. Lahat tayo kailangan ng coping mechanism. Siguro magkakaroon na na pagkakamali kapag hindi na gumaganda yung health mo, yung lifestyle mo. That's it. And it's also okay to lose weight. Nakakapagod sa Pilipinas kasi kapag sobrang payat ka, ang mga comments sa'yo, ano yan, tatangayin ka na ng hangin, mukha ka ng ting-ting. Ang malalapang, ang sasabihin nila, kumakain ka pa ba? Nakakainit ng dugo kasi hindi mo alam kung anong pinagdadaan ng mga taong to. Malay mo ba kung pumayat siya? Malay mo yung pinagdadaan siya problema? Bakit kailangan mo pang i-point out? Oh, syempre, 
hindi rin natin iwanan yung mga tumataba. Uy, parang napabayaan ka sa kusina. Uy, bakit ang taba mo na? Uy, parang lumalaki ka. Hindi ka naman ganyan kataba dati ah. And I hope we end the stigma on body shaming. At the end of the day, it's my body. It's my life. And no one is in control. Ako lang. Bakit? Yung pagkapayat ko ba naapektuhan ng pagkain mo? Yung pagkapayat ko ba naapektuhan ng buhay mo? Hindi. Yung pagkataba ba ng isang tao naapektuhan ka? Hindi. So, it's about time we end the stigma on body shaming. So, next. I don't know if this is an issue in the Philippines. Probably hindi siya masyado na pag-uusapan. That's why we're gonna talk about it. It's about body hair. Guys, balbon ako. As in, balbon kung balbon. I am hairy everywhere. Pero alam nyo guys, may face lang ako na dumating ako sa point na gusto ko mag-shave to please the society. Kasi parang yun yung accepted ng society. But honestly, I got tired of it. Kasi parang it's okay to have body hair. It's normal. Also protects actually you from dirt, from skin disease, from mosquito bites, and etc. etc. Hindi din siya widely accepted. Hindi lang sa Pilipinas, pero around the world. Especially body hair on the armpits. Right now, I have body hair. And also, I don't have perfect underarms. Let's end the stigma on having perfect underarms. Like, ito, hindi na po tayo sa kiligili out of nowhere. Pero ako personally, hindi na ako na-insecure about them. Kasi it's totally fine. Social media naman yung nagpapakita na dapat maputi kiligili mo na dapat dapat maganda yung kilikili mo, dapat makinis yung kilikili mo. So, ayun na, nakakalungkot lang kasi a lot of people are really insecure about their underarms. Well, in fact, it's totally normal, guys. It's okay. Hindi nyo yung kamamatay ang pagkaitim ng kilikili nyo as long as you guys are happy with yourselves. Going back to body hair, I don't really shave that much. And kung lalo na sa arms ko, pati sa legs ko, except kung kunyari, na-feel ko lang. If like, trip ko lang, literal kong trip ko lang, eh, hindi ko trip eh. Feel ko every time I go to a salon, they would always say na ang balbon ko. And dahil sa kasan nayan ko na rin na sasabihin akong balbon. Hindi ko na siya tinitake as a negative comment. I learned how to accept my insecurities. I learned how to accept who I am through time. Na hindi ko naman siya na-develop in a day or two but I know in myself na I'm okay with it and I love myself for it. So now we're done with our face. Yung insecurities natin sa face natin or body hair or body changes, body shaming. I also want to point out yung sa chan naman. I feel like we need to talk about this kasi kailangan may standard dyan dapat walang bilbil, dapat hindi malaki, walang umbok, dapat flat lagi, may six pack. Ano guys, okay lang na malaki ang chan natin minsan. Okay lang na napapasarap tayo na kain minsan. Lahat ng babae, lahat ng lalaki, nagiging bloated din every once in a while. Alam nyo, mas maganda ng malaki ang chan kaysa sa malaki yung matres nyo. Alam nyo bakit? Kasi kapag malaki yung matres nyo, hindi na yan food baby. That's an actual baby. Kulord. School Lord talaga, hindi ko po kakayanin magkaroon ng anak. At ayoko pa po magkaanak, okay? So, yeah, kainin nyo na na kung gusto nyo kainin. And feel free to eat whatever you want. My gosh, we only live once. Let's make it shorter, char. May cheat days tayo. But of course, don't forget to live a healthy lifestyle. Hindi perkit sinabi ko, eat whatever you want. Lahat na ng junk food, kinain mo. Lahat ng pansit kanton sa isang sitting, nakatatlo ka, kinain mo. Of course, be mindful also of your diet kasi nakakasama rin yung sobra-sobra sa atin. So, of course, eat moderately but enjoy also the things that you want. Let's talk about our vaginas. Specifically on female masturbation. Kasi dito na po mapasok si Frisky. Thank you Frisky for collaborating with me once again. So anyway, masturbation. I feel like female masturbation is not really talked about. Hindi na sa Pilipinas ha. Around the world. Like, when we say masturbation, the first thing that comes to our mind will always be men doing it. I don't know bakit nga may stigma when it comes to female masturbation and it's just self-pleasure touching yourself. I don't know bakit sobrang big deal sa mga ibang tao and then pumapasok yung gender in quality kasi mas kaysa masturbation meron nun. Kasi women are seen as sexual objects when it comes to masturbating while men are seen as wala, normal lang sa kanila. And for us to do that, parang it's so shameful. It's like, it's, it's a sin. It's something that you shouldn't do. It's not chaste enough. You're not pure enough. Ako personally, masturbation really helped me develop my self-confidence. Honestly, ang laking tulong niya when it comes to building my self-confidence. Because when I discovered this, I was able to know what do I want. I was able to explore myself. I was able to take control of my body na ako lang yung mga control nito at wala nang iba. And it's totally normal. It's totally fine. It's all in your head. And I wish we end the stigma on female masturbation. You know, as they say, my body, my rule. So, pag ganyan, it's 
totally fine to explore your body. It's totally fine to gain pleasure from sex toys, from fingering, from exploring what's down in our vaginas. And I don't know how I could really help people na to explore their bodies. Kasi mas ako, when I was like younger, I would touch myself but at the same time, I would feel yung guilt and shame after doing it. Like, I shouldn't be doing this, that this is not good, this is something that is sinful. And yet again, masturbation should be normal. Kasi nga, at the end of the day, humans are sexual beings. So yun yun yung man natutunan ko sa sex education, na totoo pala na innately, we are sexual beings. Na we are curious about what's down inside there, what orgasm feels like, or how to touch ourselves. And did you know that a lot of women don't even know how to masturbate or achieve an orgasm? And I feel like that's a really big problem when it comes to discovering their sexualities. Kasi syempre, before ka magpahawak sana sa, sa part mo maman, sa boyfriend mo man, sa lover, sa husband mo, I think it's very important that you yourself do it first. Kasi when you do it first, ikaw at ikaw lang ang makakatukoy sa mga gusto mo, sa mga limits mo. You take control of your body. You take power over your body. And I feel like this should be really highlighted. Kasi for me, yun yung nagain ko sa pag-explore ko sa katawan ko na I don't need men to validate my feelings. I don't need men to give me pleasure. Sometimes, you also need yourself lang. And I swear, the moment that you will discover this, you will be firm with your decisions. You will know what consent feels like and you will know how to say no. That's why for me, female masturbation is more than just a sexual act. It is a very empowering act. And we must stop the stigma on this. And with that, I also want to highlight what are the benefits naman of female masturbation. Kasi baka sabihin ko, empower, empower, eh. Ano nga naman ang benefits ito? I have listed in my sex and notebook some of the benefits that you can gain from masturbation. So number one, it helps you release your stress. So did you know that masturbation helps you release your endorphins? These hormones are happy hormones. So you can do it every day. There's nothing wrong with doing it every day. Walang masama sa pag-masturbate araw-araw. Nagiging masama lang siya if it affects your day life, it, if it affects your lifestyle already, na tipong sapong beses ka na sa isang araw nagjajahol at nakakalimutan mo na yung trabaho mo, nakakalimutan mo na yung pag-aaral mo, and so on and so forth, dun lang siya nagiging masama. Pero there's nothing wrong with masturbating every day. Again, we humans are sexual beings at the end of the day. Number two, it helps you fall asleep faster. And can I just say, I attest to this, girl, wait, grabe kayo, grabe kayo man, George. Grabe sila, char. Hindi, as in, totoo yun. Hello, ang team ay. Pero, sabi nga, end the stigma nang to judge ka. So, yeah, um, it's about time that we explore ourselves. Ikaw lang yung nag-iisip na i-judge ka ng mga tao. When in fact, you will not be judged by your actions. Kasi wala kang nasasaktang ibang tao. Kasi wala ka namang tinatapakang tao. So, yeah, it helps you fall asleep faster. So, three, it puts you in a great mood, to be honest. Well, that's true. Kasi nga, it releases endorphins. So, if these are happy hormones. So, after you do it, most likely, you will feel energized. You will feel happier. Parang, it's a sense of relief that you did it. And etc. Number four, it helps you to become more confident. As I said a while ago, it really helped me develop my self confidence honestly exploring my body but it wasn't an easy journey i could say na it took a long time for me to actually explore my sexuality it didn't take me just one day one year it took me several years siguro mga seven years to actually discover this before i was i used to be really shy on this um i didn't like exploring my vagina because i was so insecure with my vagina and how it looks like and i feel like porn really played a big toll on this because i see their vagina so pretty it's so clean it really it's so majestic. Eh, bakit ganun? Hindi ganun yung vagina ko. When in fact, our vaginas, all the vaginas look different, guys. It's totally fine if iba't iba tayo na itsuna ng vagina. And again, it's about also loving yourself, loving oneself, you know? And with that, alam mo, natutunan ko talagang mahalin yung sarili ko. Hindi lang sa panlabas ang anyo, kundi kung saan, kung saan tayo nanggagaling at kung anong meron tayo, which is our vagina. Totoo nga naman, dito tayo nanggagaling. Bakit tayo may insecure, di ba? So, ayun. And of course, my last and not the least, masturbation leads you to a healthier life. So, when it's a healthier life, ibig sabihin nun, no unintended pregnancy, no STDs, no STIs, and because of that, no problems. Yeah, I think that's it for my uh, pep talk with the benefits of masturbation. And now, um, as I end this video, I just want to give you guys some um, message why I prioritize this video today in this episode. Uh, for me, it's very important 
when you guys are gonna have sex or when you guys are gonna lose your virginity, have sex for the first time, it's very important to first and foremost love yourself. Hindi siya madaling gawin, I know. But it's really important to take care of yourself first, to know your needs, your wants, and to overcome your insecurities. One way that I was able to really overcome my insecurities and siguro my flaws and imperfections is to accept them. There is no way to overcome them but to accept them and not to live by the society standards. Itong pagiging balbon ko, inaccept ko na lang. Itong morena skin ko, I just accepted it. And you know what? Kapag inaccept mo, that's where your self-confidence will stem from. Kasi no one could ever take that power away from you. Not even the society, not even their standards. Kasi alam mo sa sarili mo na mahal mo na yung sarili mo. And that's very important when it comes to also having a relationship with your partner. It's very important to know oneself and love oneself. And with this, dito na rin po papasok yung masturbation. It's very important to first discover and know your sexuality. To know your needs, your preferences, what you want. And with that, you can always say no without feeling guilty. And I believe na ito rin yung isa sa mga advantages kasi alam mo na sa sarili mo kung ano lang yung kaya mong gawin at alam mo sa sarili mo kung ano lang kaya gawin sa'yo ng partner mo. Kasi ikaw at ikaw lang ang mga control ng body mo. So let me just read one of my favorite quotes. It says, Our power comes from not only knowing the power of our bodies, but more importantly knowing that we, ourselves, are in control of them. So yeah, I hope you guys learned a thing or two from this video. I hope na may natutunan kayo sa episode na to. So with that, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for you to guys to be updated every time I upload a video. At the same time, for you guys to be updated every time I upload my sex ed content. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on my next video. Bye!